so creaky. Can you not hear that? Stop it. It's so creaky. What is that noise? Have you seen the movie? Have you seen the movie Don't Breathe? Can you Stop. imagine that in the house? One creak, you shot dead. Okay, Bait, don't be calling on my floor and, like and, that. Anyone they out had there, to know that. Creak, bang, gone. Stop it, shit. Sure. Anyway, so. That's we, a blooper. We, we thought, no, bloopers are at the end. Well, this is going to be No, this is not going to be a blooper. We've done about 50 takes now. Okay. Come on. We spent one hour in the first 10 seconds you saw him calling Don't be calling us out. Anyway. Alright, anyway. We're back again. So, we thought it'd be a good idea. Yes. We thought it'd be a good idea to do a video about online dating, what we think's good about it, what we thought was bad about it, because people that are new to our video, we met on online. We, we met online, have, what, last year? We met online August 10th last year on OK Keep It. From two different countries. So two obviously I'm countries. from the UK, and as you can tell, Bianca's from America. Woohoo. So yeah. <laughs> So what was your online experience like, Bianca Gilbert? I thought Gilbert? Michael was a catfish. I thought he was weird. Catfish? Yeah. Why? Because. What happened to you? Nothing. You just, he just seemed too good to be true because Michael is very That's romantic. That's it. Take the whole camera up again. I'm all, I'm all I'm over sorry. here. <laughs> Do you know I'm getting pushed away? That's it. Sorry. That's it. That's it. Yeah, go on, go. Michael has a very romantic personality. Keep talking. And he's very sweet. <laughs> keep he's talking. Very sweet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore the catfish bit, but keep talking. <laughs> he's very sweet, but anyways, he just seemed too good to be true. So I just thought, yeah, he's definitely a catfish. Yeah, but what, what made you go on online dating? People want to know why. Why did you go on it? Why did I go online? I went online. What? Go on. Shut up. <laughs> I went online because for one, I was bored. For two, I am very socially awkward and shy. So when it comes to talking Shut to God, can tell him. Shut up! Stop calling me out. So when it comes to talking to other guys, I get I shell up a little bit. So I thought, why not go online and meet some random person online only, and then close the app. And be done with it. And I thought that that would kind of, you know, build me up a little bit to get that confidence to go out there in the community and put myself out there a little bit more and talk to guys, like right? Shut up. <laughs> so, anyways, that didn't happen. Um, I ended up meeting Michael online, she and I thought me. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, okay, great. This guy is from a different country. I can. So, did you filter me into the UK? No, I didn't know what I was and how doing. how did you find me all the way from London when you live here? I was on that app for like 10 minutes. 10 and minutes. I was yeah, trying to figure it out. 10 minutes. I was. Yeah, go on. <laughs> I'll show proof. So you're on there, what, and I just showed up? Yeah, so I'm swiping right, swiping left, and hit, he, oh gosh, uh, blooped uh, that uh, out. Uh, <laughs> what's that? What? <laughs> <laughs> so you anyway. found me. Yeah, so he came up and I just swiped. I didn't even go. Yeah, but you like you didn't just swipe me off. You liked me, obviously, didn't you? Yeah, I liked you. That's a swipe. She liked me swipe first, right. and she found me. Oh, I'm freaking. I'm sweating. This green tea's killed me. Well. So yeah, I'm obviously at work at the time. Yeah, I remember it being August the 10th. I don't even know how I remember that date. And uh, yeah, Special. you popped up on my phone. I Why did I go online dating? You're probably thinking. Um, most of the time, I used to go out a lot in clubs, and I used to meet quite a lot of people out there, uh, going to different places, and someone just recommended me online dating. I'd never done it before. Um, so, you know, I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, I had met other people before you, I'm afraid. Mm. <laughs> but but they, it didn't go really too well, to be fair. Uh, I won't go into too much detail, but, you know, you, don't, don't get bit off by it, because you will meet people straight away who you... Who, um, you connect with. Yeah, exactly. And there'll be others that you won't connect with. And there'll be some people you just meet straight away and think, I don't like that person. Or they don't look like anything in their pictures. Absolutely. Or, or nothing. But yeah, I think you probably, I think I met about three or four people before you. Yikes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, was a pro. Yeah, I'm a pro. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, three or four people. And then that's when I met the beautiful Bianca. <laughs> so anyway. She comes up on my uh, on my uh, on my screen. I'm thinking, damn, Hello, looking fine today. Watch your mouth. <laughs> Go on there, and then straight away, she's from Detroit. Yes, America. So, like I said, I didn't even get a chance to look on his profile because he inboxed me, and then when he said, "Oh, I see you're from the states," I was like, "Wait a minute, where is this guy from?" Well, we'll put a little and picture up at the side, as you can see here. I don't know what's always going to pop all up. All of our first conversation. Of our first co you can see our first conversation. Uh, 
Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, so that's when I went on Michael's page and I was like, wait a minute, this guy's from United Kingdom. And then a light bulb appeared and I was like, oh, perfect. I will never meet this guy. He's from the opposite side of the world. And I can try to get a little bit more comfortable with talking to guys. So I deleted OK Cupid. Oh, so I was a we test. Was, I, was, I was an experiment then. For me, yeah. Oh, <laughs> the truth's <laughs> coming out now, isn't it? <laughs> After all that time, I'm getting there, starting to fall in love, you know, you know being really happy. And then I'm an ex I get told on live, on YouTube, that I'm an experiment. Yeah, well... <laughs> I just Don't you drop yourself in it right now. We're having talks after this video. Oh my gosh, shut up. So, anyway, we started right. talking. Um, yeah, so we, I did the OK Cupid, and then I downloaded WhatsApp, and then we started talking on WhatsApp. That was a big jump, though, from WhatsApp for you, for you because one, you didn't even have it, did you? No, I never heard of WhatsApp. Never heard of WhatsApp. Before. They even heard of it. See, we use it in the UK. You People in the US must use it. Yeah, people big, in the US still use it, but, it was a but big, I just it was didn't a, know about but it. For me, it was a, a big jump for the both of us, because one, I didn't know that you were, were real, because when you speak to people online, you just don't know, it's a big jump, you've got to kind of have faith to do it. But we didn't know each other, nope. we spoke on the app for about a few days, then you downloaded WhatsApp, it took us about 15 minutes trying to get the numbers no, actually, right, because all your numbers no, are wrong. actually, we had downloaded WhatsApp the next day, because I deleted OkCupid okay, after. Yeah, there was a bit of trouble getting WhatsApp, because of the dialing codes. It was very all. hard, it because... It was so annoying. The British, their telephone numbers are very weird. The way yours are weird. Ours are straight to the point, like and three, it one, makes three. sense. Yours is zero zero one zero zero zero. What's yours? Three one three one three. Shut up. Three one three. What is it? Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we we started speaking on WhatsApp, and that's when I phoned you through WhatsApp. That's a good thing, obviously. WhatsApp's free, and it has video calls. And that's too. when I heard you. For first time. That's when he heard me for the first time. Love at first sight. Love and direct I was like, Oh my gosh. Oh. He's a real British person. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well you were. What do you think it was gonna be? Some sort of I like, thought you some, were catfishing some me. Some play doh guy or something. No, I just thought you was catfishing me. That's why it was like an experiment. But I was real. You were real. He told me. We, no, we were both be... nervous though because obviously she couldn't really understand how what I was saying half the time because my accent could be pretty thick. But you you talk real slow. I do. So I could understand her, but I loved her accent. And then yeah. we started talking on WhatsApp, didn't we? And then we did. Next thing. Yes, and but, I thought Michael was a little bit too good to be true in the first few weeks of us talking on WhatsApp because he's such a romantic guy, and he'll say all the sweetest things. That's and it, he's very, <laughs> he's very spontaneous, and so forth and so on. So I'm like, yeah, this guy is so fake. So then we were like, okay. We well, thought it was fake. Yeah. I was like, to prove that you're real, I need you to either send me a picture yep. with my name on it, yep. or I, I need to you that. to do a video saying my name. I did the video for you. So he that. did the video of yeah. him saying who and he was. And that's when you saw that was real. Him. Yeah, and then See? I found out he was real. He was a yeah. real person, guys. So the pros of the pros of online dating, guys, is yeah, you you you're open to the whole world. You can filter who you want to look at, who you want to see. Uh, mine was mostly filtered to the UK, not America, so I don't know how you got mine from over here. I don't know. I don't know Who how you knows? that thing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so that, that worked out right. And, you know, you can block these people straight away. So if you're not happy with them or you like the way they're talking to you, mm -hmm. block them. Uh, so that's a good thing about it. You get to see people's pictures. Uh, I think some online dates have videos now. Yeah. That's yeah? the more advanced ones that you probably have to pay for. Exactly. And then, um, I think the... The disadvantage is obviously is there are a lot of creeps online. I had loads of messages from really weird people. I even got loads of messages from guys. Yeah? Guys. I've probably had more messages from guys than I did women. That's weird. It is weird. <laughs> well you're cute, that's why. Honestly, I tried to fit all that out. I'm straight. I thought you were cute. But obviously I had a lot of messages from guys, um uh, and girls, but yeah, I had some really odd messages. Uh so yeah. Yeah, but anyways, it worked out for us. Um, a year going strong. And um, our first time meeting was last year in November, November 4th. So... We can explain how we met on another video. Okay. For the first time. But so yeah, that's our opinion. That's how it went. It went really well for us. I'd say my advice to you guys, if you do find somebody online that you actually are attracted to, then I think that you should definitely test them. 
Yep. Um, I did my own secret background check that Michael did not know about until now. Probably. You did secret, but then I checked you on Facebook as well. I had so to that check all goes him. on. I even checked. They him all on do a, it. Everyone does it. They always go beyond. I had go to, to check Facebook, him on the, uh, the British police sites too. What do you mean? Oh my God, I had to record. Sure, well, I didn't know. I had to look at. I had to make sure. And then he gave me his address, so I had to Google Map that too. I did my whole little research. I had to make sure he was real, and I had to make sure he wasn't no crazy See? guy. Ah. Facts. A couple more minutes on the facts. People want to know the facts. So, guys, I've got some interesting facts about online dating. Quickly, for everyone, just so, because obviously you've heard our opinion, and I've just got some interesting facts. How many people do you think have tried online dating in America? Have a guess. 10 million. 10 million, close. 41 million people have tried online dating in the US. 41 million, that's a lot. That's but it's the future though, lot. isn't it? Everyone, even at all our generation. I think because it's more convenient and yeah. a lot of youth are just yeah, stuck yeah. to their cell phones You're not, you're anyways, not gonna have, so. have the older generation there, are you? You're not gonna have Dorothy on there. Well, maybe. Yeah, you with Dorothy know. on there, are you? It's gonna be like our generation. You never know. Don't catch it, Dorothy. <laughs> Anybody I mean. can find love yeah. online. <laughs> so yeah, 41 million people have tried it. But the question is, how many of them have turned into a, a really proper committed relationship like me and Bianca? What percentage do you reckon out of 41 million? <laughs> Barely. Uh, I'll say about a few thousand. 20% of those 41 million, so that's about 10 million, have gone into a committed relationship. That's quite low, 20%. It's low because there's a lot much... of weirdos online. Yeah, it's I know, but co considering online. how much you can filter everything out and choose who you want to be still, with. But still, people can still fake it. Yeah, I suppose. Catfish. I gotta be careful with you. Well. So yeah, and how many of the percentage of that 20% do you think got married? 2%. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually going to be surprised. 17% of people got married through online dating. That's shocking. Yeah, don't get any ideas. Uh, so... <laughs> so yeah, 17% of that. And how much money, another question for you, how much money do you think uh, this year, or actually no, last year, has been spent by people online together? A few million. Mm -hmm. $238 million has been spent on online dating. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. That's enough to freaking... What? <laughs> <laughs> Build an island. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you could. Or buy a boat. Yeah. Buy the Titanic. That's Actually, not no, that's, that's kind of down yeah, yeah, in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, forget that. Blooper! Anyway. All right. <laughs> so there, those are the pros. So you know, you got got a, you got a good chance. The negatives. Oh, there's you, a lot of negatives. How many, what percent of people do you think are sex offenders online? A lot of people. <laughs> no, it's actually not that bad. It's not. No. Oh, I don't know. I'm guess out of percentage. Fifty <laughs> percent. <laughs> For you, maybe, yeah. You're one of them. No, I'm not. Shut ten percent of people online that you might speak to, you've got ten percent chance it could be a sex offender. So a little advice is just be careful who you give your information to. Do your to. background checks. Do your have them send you you don't go into much detail. She went on the police and everything. That's a bit too too much. No, it's not. You you gotta gotta be safe out here. Online. We live in a crazy world, okay? And then, <laughs> what do you think the biggest lie men say? online dating when they're talking to a woman. What do you think the biggest lie is? I don't know. Have a guess, when they're trying to describe themselves, I'll give you a hint. They say they're cute. No, well yeah, they're <laughs> gonna say that, they're not gonna say, oh, I'm ugly. They say they're tall. You're close. The biggest thing men lie about online is their height. Oh yeah, they say they're tall. Yeah, yeah. no, they say they're, yeah. I mean, they're they say height, they're short, okay. they're short, are they? No. Yeah, that they're tall, their height. And what do you think women is the biggest lie on online dating, number one? I don't know. Guess. Wait. That they're fit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're gonna wrap this video up real good. Stop saying this stuff. It's so weird. Yeah, anyway, so we're gonna wrap this up. We are getting a little bit lengthy in our videos. Yeah. They're not really. Don't forget the bloopers at the end. Anymore. The bloopers are the best bit. Anyway, anyway. blank moment, <laughs> guys. We'll catch up with you in a bit. Keep a watch out for our videos. Make sure you subscribe and. Ciao ciao Your hair looks good <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, we're live. We're live. We're live. Oh, 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 we're live. O